Hello. As my regular audience will know, I've had a consistent overheating problem on the freeway, anything over 110 kilometers an hour. Uh, the hottest, slowest rush hour traffic with air conditioning on, no problem. As soon as I pass 110 kilometers on the freeway, big problem. It gets really hot really fast, I don't know why. Uh, just installed a new water pump. There she is, nice and pretty. Um, and yesterday, I added some Pro 99 Radiator Flush product. It was given to me by the auto parts store in Bateau before we got our last ferry here. And uh, I thought that would be a good pre-flush because I only had one bottle. So it's normally good for small engines. This is probably a little bigger than this is probably a little bigger than what one bottle is intended for, but uh, as it was free, I thought that'd be a good pre-flush. Before I get into the serious stuff, which is good old liquid molly made in Germany. So uh, one bottle should be good enough for 10 liters of water. So as I like to overdo things, I got two. So I've got enough for 20 liters. So that should do some pretty good cleaning. So now I'm gonna drain this uh, Pro 99 flush and see what it looks like. Uh, but I have to mention that yesterday while driving, the temperature didn't go above 75. And uh, the only thing that's different is more water in the radiator and a new water pump. But the water pump was fine before, so I can't really see any difference there. Uh, anyhow, I did not go over 110 yesterday. So I probably should have tested that, but I will with the Liquid Molly um, product in there. All right, so now I'm gonna check the color of the water that comes out and see how good of a job that that flush did. See if I can do this with the video running. So this has been in there for two days and I've probably driven uh, a total of about an hour and a half and I think the minimum recommended on the bottle is 15 minutes. So I definitely, I definitely did the, uh, the minimum requirement a few times over. All right, let's see if I can avoid getting completely drenched, I don't know. Ah, oh, great. <laughs> I don't know what the waterproof uh, rating is on a Paco X3 Pro. Hopefully it's good. Okay. I'm gonna stop the video for now and check my camera. <laughs> my camera's okay, so I guess this is a combination of remaining coolant that was already in the car, in the engine. I thought I had it all drained, but there might be some re residual left over. And also the uh, small Pro 99 bottle. I don't really see any indication, well, I don't know. It is a bit cloudy, so maybe it did do some cleaning there. That's a pretty fat handle screwdriver. Look how big that thing is. Pretty cool. Never seen one that big. It's like a huge fly. So Santa Claus came by again today. Uh -huh. Let's open it, babe. Uh, it's for to the inox. Ah, yes, yes. Well, in stainless. Oui, oui. We don't have to worry about the gas neutral. That's it. That's it. Why the argon? Because uh, I don't know the difference. Why not? But the argon. No, it's the most abundant. No, yeah. No, it's uh, one percent in the atmosphere. No, argon. Yeah. I just read an article the other day that said it's one of the most common gas. Nit nit nitrogen is 78% in the air. Oh. Argon is 1%. Okay, well, I, is all I know is that it keeps it from oxidizing as yeah, you're yeah, welding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Why not nitrogen? Yeah, I don't know. Which is more abundant. But is it uh, equally resistant to temperature? Okay. Ah, cool. Yay, that looks cool. Yeah. That's nice. I like it. <laughs> it's pretty. Oh, no, 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 baby. <laughs> That's for daddy's radiator. <laughs> All right. 
the job I was procrastinating on because it's kind of a pain in the rear. Uh, I saw in the 4056 that it has a blocked drain plug right around here behind the oil filter uh, on the side of the engine block. Um, the picture I saw was for a 4056. This is obviously a 4M40. So, hoping and guessing that something uh, is in a similar position down there. Now, the oil filter is here. Well, I'm not seeing anything obvious. That there looks like an oil line. I don't see anything that's obviously a coolant uh, drain. I don't think that is it. Should be on the side of the engine block. Hmm, okay. Well, I'm gonna have to look into this a bit more. Hold on. All right, so last night I stumbled across some images. One's a photo and one's a drawing. Uh, created by our Japanese friends possibly 20 years ago. Gonna crawl under here one more time and take another look. Ah, it's that. It is that thing, okay. Yeah, that's a 12 millimeter. It turns, but not easy. It's pretty resistant, so I don't think it has been, been probably in a very, very long time. So I've got my drain plug very loose and might be just about to fall out. So now I'm just going to go get a bunch of water because I want to flush this as the engine's running and just keep dumping new water through there and hopefully open any blockages up on that end uh, affected by the drain plug and uh, hopefully get this engine cooling a bit better. We've had two days of very heavy monsoon rains here, so this water is perfect for flushing a 4M40 engine. Alright, there we go. You can see my wrench there, so I'm going to lay well beyond the uh, spray zone <laughs> and just reach uh, reach under there and open that up. Let's see if I can do that with the video rolling. I've already loosened this up pretty good so it should be about ready to fall out. Uh, okay. So that's supposed to be the drain plug. Unless uh uh, another possibility is that I don't read Japanese very well, and this is not the coolant drain plug. I'll bet you that's plugged up. For now, I'm going to run the engine just for a minute, and just see if maybe that pops it open. I don't know. But my guess now is that that's, that's clogged. It's probably not been open in 20 years. So, um, I'll build just a little bit of coolant pressure, see if maybe that pops open. If not, I'll grab a screwdriver. Alright, nothing coming out of there yet. So my guess is that that is the coolant drain, but it's just very plugged up. So I'm going to turn it off now and grab a screwdriver. Well, I hadn't expected to do this job before breakfast, but it looks like I'm going to. The missus is still asleep. And I'm too curious now to stop. So that looks like it should be about the right size there. I'm just going to set the camera up here in, in the off chance that... Uh, this is productive and that that is the uh, drain plug hole. And again, obviously, I'm not going to be right underneath the work spot. Okay, there's the hole there. Looks like, looks like sand, basically. Sand. Yeah, that's what you want in your engine. That's got to be it. All right, let me grab my flashlight. Come here. Okay, that's really, really plugged. I got to keep digging. I'll just set it there, and if you see water splash down, you'll know. Uh, oh yeah, that's definitely deeper now. Now I'm switching back between the big screwdriver and the small screwdriver. The small one to kind of go deeper, 
and then the bigger one to clean out the uh, the circumference that the smaller screwdriver did not clean. So now I'm in, now I'm with the big screwdriver, and it feels like I'm kind of getting to the top of something, but yeah, there's still no sign. Oh, there we go. That's yeah, it's a bit too hot there. Okay, there we go. Holy smokes! different than the uh, Pro 99. The Pro 99 looked like uh, regular coolant and this one's actually clear and it looks slightly syrupy. Now this system holds a lot of water so I'm doing two just to be really sure. Just really had enough of uh, overheating on the freeway. It's already creating soap suds there at the top of the radiator. Chlorine swimming pool water. That should do the trick. Yeah, it's basically at the top now, so I'm just gonna run the engine and get the air bubbles out. And of course you want your heating on maximum. Uh, Okay, she's been running for about 20 minutes and holding pretty firmly there at 60, uh, right above 60. So now we're going to go for a little test drive. Hello. Hi. So how long have we been driving now? Exciting for the Pajero today. And I've been toying with the idea of buying that thing, but I don't know how difficult it would be to do the paperwork. So here's our uh, surplus store. And down below they have lots of uh, electronics, appliances. And then up here is where they have the. Ah, well, check this out. That's cool. There we go. Have to check that out. Pretty uh, broad selection here. Mattresses, tent. Huh? Uh, okay, we'll check the... Lots of strollers. We might actually take one of these for Mr. T. And this one is kind of confusing. Snowboard and skis in the Philippines. And this I totally understand. Big surplus of suitcases. <laughs> Gosh, I wonder why. And more suitcases. And more suitcases. Motorcycle motocross and then obviously scuba. Huh? <laughs> How does it go? <laughs> Someone's been up to no good, huh? You saw it on the video. Oh, yeah. So nothing today, huh? Wanna? This is another one we like.
like to go to, they usually have more uh, interesting stuff. Less, but more interesting. Today I will be doing a flush only through the block drain valve underneath from the radiator. So I'm going to open, you can still see some stuff there at the top of the... Now I'm going to go get some swimming pool water. May I help you? What's up? Do you know what we're doing today? No. <laughs> okay. Do you know what this is? Uh, no. No? Do you know what it does? This this thing here with the blue is hose connected to. Well, there you. Yeah, it's uh, not coolant, uh, it's but it's. Uh, no, I know the air conditioning. No. No, but you you got the idea. It's for cooling. It's to cool the engine. Yeah. That's the radiator. You put water or what? Oh. The fridge. <laughs> <laughs> That's the main idea. <laughs> Where you going, Mr. T? Huh? Okay, we got water. Now we got to remove that uh, block plug. So, as you can see, that's just clear swimming pool water there. Uh, the foam might be from some of the past uh, uh, cleaning product, but that's just uh, the liquid moly is environmentally friendly, non-acidic, and all that stuff. So uh, it's not really harmful. It's just like washing your car, basically. Now I'm going to start the engine and uh, dump the swimming pool water through the engine, allowing that to flush through and remove this top radiator hose here. That looks pretty clean now, so I'll put the plug back in. pretty clean actually. Not sure anything else is coming through. I think that's probably about as clean as it's going to get.
thanks for watching. Uh, until next time. Uh, for now, I'm just going to run this. Uh, another probably an hour today, uh, maybe two hours today. Got a few trips to do. And then tomorrow I will probably flush it one more time and refill again with swimming pool water. Uh, and the next video will be the thermostat and the uh, metal coolant tube down here. I'm going to replace that with the new one that I have and then put silicone tubing here as well. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, like, and share. Get us closer to that Kitagawa Turbo. Thanks, guys. Take another look, take another look between take another look. I'll give you a look at loose. Take another look between take another look.